Back in the psychedelic 60s and 70s, it seemed like everybody had some cool type of lamp in their living room. Whether it was the one that looked like fake rain, that was basically beads of oil running down fishing lines that surrounded a statue with a light shining on it, or um, lava lamps, and other neon lamps with symbols in them. And then of course, it was this. Remember these from the 1970s? Fiber optic lamps. This of course is, these are plastic fibers. They're not glass like we use in telecom. I haven't got this secure. But it just used an incandescent light bulb, little flashlight bulb. And some of them would have a, a color changing wheel. Others would have just a single color gel that you put over them. And um, it would just make them a single color. This one here doesn't have a gel. It's just white. But I think that we can add some color to this with some color changing LEDs. What do you think? I had some extra color changing LEDs from a project that I worked on a while back. I'll set the power supply to 3 volts. And we'll just hook up 3 volts DC to these 3 color changing LEDs. Now, they will hopefully, yeah, they will blink at different rates. I'm thinking if I stick this into the base of the fiber optic, we could get a, a cool effect. So let's just pop the the fiber out, the whole lamp holder, and we'll put these into here and just see how this looks. This could look actually kind of nice. Let's see here. I'll turn off the other light so it's not uh, drowning out the, the picture. Yeah, the light in the background you see is my my sign. But yeah, yeah, I could. I think this looks a lot cooler. What do you think? Maybe four of them. This is three LEDs. Should I put a fourth one in there? Would four make it better? I guess it depends on how I can get these in here. They're in a row right now, but if I try to move them around so that they're kind of in a triangle, it might look a bit better. Actually. I think that looks pretty good. I've got the, the LED stuff right up into the base as high as they'll go. And uh, yeah, I think that that effect actually looks, looks pretty good. I just gotta go about modifying the power supply now. It's a seven volt AC adapter or AC transformer. We'll have to uh, regulate that down to about three volts, maybe a resistor. I'll have to, uh, it's AC right now, I'll have to make it DC and uh, we'll uh, put a current limiting resistor in here. I don't even think it's necessary for these ones. I think these things will pretty much run on anything because they've got their own regulation built in. I should check the specs on it, but that doesn't look too bad at all, actually. Actually, it looks pretty good. Just the way it's flashing there looks really good. It's hard to tell with that light in the background on camera, but uh, this looks pretty good. I've got four LEDs together. I figured I'd put an extra one in. Uh, I'm going to run it off a 6-volt AC adapter, which uh, when it floats, it'll float around 7-odd volts or so. But uh, I put a 100-ohm current limiting resistor on here, which should be adequate for running all these, I think, because the amount of power they're going to draw. I think we're probably okay. If let's just try it out and see. So my positive is the center tip here. Ow. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Now, we'll put these, and I've got some heat shrink around them so that they don't short out. We're going to put these inside the base, into here, where the, uh, the fiber optic sits. It'll, it'll, these will be down, like, down in the bottom here. We just get these uh, into the base. I'm going to put some more heat shrink tubing around here. Hook it up to the power cord and uh, we'll, we'll feed them into the base and see how it looks. I'll hook up my DC power. Put the heat shrink tubing around the negative lead.
positive wire hooked up to the resistor. Get some more heat shrink tubing on here. We're going to cover this whole thing with heat shrink tubing. Now when I power this up, the lights should all start blinking, which they are. They all follow their own little program, so the timing is different between each of them. What I'll do is I'll cut off the bottom for the little, uh, the little light bulb that it used to have. Uh, that way I can put the base back through the base, bring the LEDs up through the bottom. Put them into the base and then reattach the bottom to it. It's gonna be tricky, but I think I can do this. Okay, I've got my base in place now with my lights. Put this other piece around here, and this piece around there, and put in the LED, put in the fiber. There, I do believe that should look good. I do believe that looks a little better than when I started when it was just white. Kind of happy with my accomplishment on that. Definitely updates from the old boring single color and even the ones that had the the moving color wheel. This one here is just completely random. Four multicolor auto-changing LEDs in the base. I'm happy. Thanks for watching.